Well everyone, One UI 6 has just came out in a beta form, so let's go and see how it kind of compares against iOS 17, even though that's also in the beta as well. Now One UI 6 is not coming out for probably another couple of months for your specific devices, so keep that in mind, and a lot of these changes and a lot of the big changes may still be coming in the future, but there are also lots of cool little things that One UI 6 and iOS 17 have brought. Now the supported devices of the of One UI 6 are probably going to be the Galaxy S21, S22, S23, and all the other phones that came out around those specific years for all the other Samsung phones. The A series are going to be a little different. iPhones definitely have a longer lifespan with their devices though. iOS 17 is supporting the iPhone XR and XS from 2018 and newer. So that's almost like as if the Galaxy S9 was still supported. Think about that. So iOS 17 definitely probably has an edge over the device list in some ways for the long, like the length span in terms of years. But One UI 6 does bring a lot of cool, unique features beyond than just what Android 14 brought. And we've already compared Android 14 against iOS 17 as well. And the big thing that One UI 6 is actually bringing is a little bit of a newer design for that quick panels or the quick settings panel that we've seen before. So within this, from what I'm seeing, basically we are getting a new, I guess it's a new look of the quick settings panel. So it's a new button layout. They have a couple of different toggles for Wi-Fi and Bluetooth now, which is really cool. And you also have a little bit of a new option where you can actually swipe from the to, where you can actually swipe from the right side of the screen to actually get it into the settings panel, the quick settings panel, just like how we can do it on iPhones. So that is actually something that's really cool. That's going to be something that a lot of people are going to get used to. But you can turn this off, I think. But that's still something that's really cool here on iOS 17. The button layout and all the, f you know, basically everything that we've seen so far is still very similar. They haven't changed anything like that yet. But because of that new capability with the lock screen and everything, Apple has made some new improvements for the lock screen panels and the widgets and stuff. So that did come out in iOS 16. It's been improved slightly on iOS 17, but still a very cool thing that we have. There's also a new default system font, which is pretty cool on One UI 6. So it's a little bit more modern looking. I've seen, I even saw some leaks about this before One UI 6 actually came out. So that is something that's really cool on One UI 6 that we have that type of capability that has changed a little bit. And I feel like since One UI 5, actually One UI 4, I felt like Samsung was actually making lots of improvements to distinguish themselves against like, you know, the other Android you know, skins. And I think with this new font, it is actually kind of interesting. Again, it's, you can change it in the settings if you want to, but it's still cool iOS is still maintaining its standard iOS you know, font that it's had for years, but we do have some cool things within iOS 17, like that new ability of basically having our screen there while it's actually in sleep mode. So essentially, if you turn your phone over while it's sleeping, you can actually go ahead and get into this new splash screen where it's almost like a time, like it's like a clock or like a digital thing. And it's honestly really cool. I like this feature a lot. And I probably will use it on iOS 17 sometimes. Maybe I won't, but that standby mode is honestly very, very cool. And although on, you know, Androids, we do probably have some feature like this. I feel like Apple executed it very, very well on that device, which is honestly very nice. Now on iOS 17, we also have things like interactive widgets, which has now been improved and added. So that was something that was really cool. I'm surprised Apple didn't talk about that too much, but that was something that was really awesome within that device. With the One UI 6, we still have lots of new improvements and lots of changes. We do also have a new custom camera widget, which is honestly very funny that we have this kind of cool stuff. I feel like Samsung has always had some of the better cameras out there. So that was something that was really awesome. And there were also some smaller tweaks and changes so far. Like apparently some of their Samsung Galaxy applications have now dropped either the Galaxy or the Samsung app in their app name. So now it's just the name of the application, which I think is so much smoother and better than how it was before. It's almost like if Apple, every single application they had was Apple apps, you know, Apple Maps, Apple CarPlay, Apple iMovie, Apple this. Like it's good to have some distinguishing apps that kind of stand on their own. And that is something that's honestly very cool. And I'm happy that Samsung ended up doing it here. So I feel like what Samsung did with their update was clean and smoothen a lot of things out. And I feel like what iOS did was enhance the already existing features and kind of improve some of the things that they've had before. So I'm happy with them both. I feel like both of them are very similar updates and I'm very curious to see how they both mature, but I'm really hoping with the next year's updates, they're a little bit better and a little bit more featureful. So I'd love to hear your thoughts about this. Let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that means so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.